So then they tried to con us out of some money. Um, she ended up putting everybody back on the draft to have their rent like just drafted out um, without telling anybody. channel if you're here from my main channel welcome if you're new here welcome just all around welcome my name is crystal chaos and I decided to start this vlog channel because I am a hairdresser and I don't want all of my mediums of social media to be hairdressing I'm into far more things like photography cameras filming uh, lots of DIY and home decor and just things like that just kind of sharing my style so that's what this page is going to be about if you came over from the main channel and you saw all of the other vlogs, I kind of left you guys hanging for like five months. My bad. Um, if you are new here, I have uploaded all of those old videos onto this channel so you can go back and watch those. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I know the last time that we talked, it was kind of like, do I move? I'm in the middle of a pandemic. My salon, like the people who own my salon are being really shitty and like kind of shady. Um, it has gotten worse. I did decide to move, obviously. Um, this is my dining room. Unfortunately, when I was setting up my apartment, I didn't film really anything. I got really overwhelmed trying to just get everything done so I could just live and like do things, but I spent almost all of quarantine painting, decorating, uh, ordering shit online. So the only thing I really did film, and I'm glad I did, was an empty apartment tour. So what I want to do today is show you guys what the apartment looked like empty and then um, take you on a tour of what it looks like now. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the empty apartment tour and then I'll show you guys what it looks like now and then maybe we'll come back and we'll spill a little bit of tea. A little bit of, a little bit of tea. Um, there's a couple of things I don't love about this place and I was like kind of upset about it when we first moved in, but... Uh, and I'm kind of late to the game because I already started painting the bedroom. So let's give you a quick apartment tour. Here we walk in. This is the living room. We are painting all of this because this wall color is not pretty. Fun balcony. Um, there's a doggo park out there and um, a playground. So, ew. So, this is the dining room area. You know, the other half of the living room is where you walk in. Um, I actually don't mind my kitchen. Not sure about this guy. So I have like a breakfast nook here. Let's get some lights on in here. So this is a kitchen, super warm lighting, but I like these lights. Breakfast nook, black appliances. I don't love the cabinet color, but it is what it is. In our little hallway, linen closet, bathroom nice white vanity unfortunately the washer and dryer is in here but so yeah and then there's like a big bathtub in here and then this issue love that for me this is going to be the office um also going to paint in here nice big closet storage space the lighting in here goes from warm to cool to warm to cool. Bedroom, as you can see, we've already started painting. I don't know where the light switch is for this closet, but this is the master closet. Ha ha. So, closet, the light flickers. Love that for me. Then you walk through, you're in another bathroom. I don't know what this is about, but it's not my most favorite thing than like the smallest vanity that you've ever seen. So this is the living room. Um, she turned out good. I kind of was just going for like a very Pinteresty vibe in here. I almost feel like everybody expected my apartment to look like my salon, which is all like hot pink and like rainbows. Um, if you are new here, my main channel, which I will have linked down below, does have some videos like inside my salon so you can see that decor. It's really cute. Neon signs, drippy rainbows and all that stuff. But I wanted something that was like more homey. The only thing I don't love about the living room of this apartment is very narrow. You can see it just goes... So I 
I don't know, I just wanted something Pinteresty. I, for some reason, always really gravitate towards pink. I really wanted a gray couch, so I ended up doing gray with um, pink, and I ended up doing a lot of DIY, like home stuff in here, which some of it you did see. You saw the dining room table. That I worked on, but yeah, I just wanted something kind of like warm and like, cozy but still like my vibe it is very girly i will say though none of my furniture is like hella expensive most of it is from like target or ikea or i already had it and we repainted it so like this is from most of this is from target the baskets are from target also um these tables i had i i painted them myself they were a mahogany color yeah so that's me in the boo. That's my friend Ursula. Just like, I really love fun gallery walls. And I just wanted everything in here to really, really match. I already had this chase. I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep it. Um, for the time being, it's going to stay. There's Doggo. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You being the best boy. Yeah. Um, my couch is literally $600. It's like, it's so comfortable. It has super deep cushions. I keep blankets on it when he's here so I don't get dog hair everywhere. Um, already had these shelves in my room at home with the gold accents, like the gold, oh my god, what are they? The gold brackets and just painted the shelves white. This is an old mirror from my salon. This entertainment center is from Ikea and I ended up painting or staining the top of it to match my side tables and my dining room table. So I did want to make it like more Pinteresty and like just very, still my vibe and colorful and fun and pretty. I did a lot of gold accents. Um, I already had the chase and I tried to utilize a lot of things that I just already had, paint that I already had. I really wanted to go for like a homey vibe, like I said, so somehow I became a plant mom. Those ones are fake, but I really like the little accents of things that are me. Just the camera, the dog, the pictures. So probably one of my favorite purchases was from Amazon. It was like either $90 or like $115, and it is my coffee table. Um, it's white. It gets dirty quite easily, but, you know, you just get a little duster, you dust it off. But check this out. Da-da-da! So when you're sitting on the couch, if you want to work on your computer, you want to eat your dinner in the living room, it's perfect. I store all of my candles just on the inside of this, um, extra remotes. So yeah, I just store all my candles in there. Sometimes I'll work on my computer in here, sometimes I'll eat dinner in here. Fairly easy to put together, but of course, I didn't put any of this shit together, my boyfriend did. Um, but yeah, that's probably one of my favorite purchases aside from my entertainment center. I would say all in all, most of this stuff I already had. That's why I feel like I went with this color scheme. I already had a gray chase, so I just wanted to get a gray couch to match it. I do not like brown couches. Black hair or a black couch would have shown my yellow hair all over the place because I shed so much. And this guy. I just feel like gray is very neutral and it can work with a lot of different colors. So that's what I went with. Um, I'm not really quite, oh, the lamps. My mom bought me these really cute lamps from TJ Maxx and they were gold, so that's why I ended up doing the gold accents. Do you like it? Do you think it's comfy and cozy? Do you want to tell the people? I don't know why I talk to you like this. Say it's so comfortable here, huh? Oh, that's my shirt, thank you. Okay, bye. So next up is the dining room. Um, does this table look familiar? Because she turned out so good. And these chairs turned out so good. One of them is broken, but it was a free uh, table at, like set. So it is what it is. I got to say, though, I'm pretty proud of me and my dad because this table looks so good. These chairs turned out amazing. Like, she's got a nice glossy finish on her. She looks so, so good. I saw the whole geometric wall thing on TikTok and I stayed up till six o'clock in the morning doing that. I think it was like 2 a.m. and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. So the reason that I chose these colors is because I wanted my living room, which you are actually in right now, to really like the colors to just flow into the dining room since it was so open. So you can see that the dining room 
just really flows into the living room very, very nicely. So the dark pink is my wall color from the salon. I still had a whole gallon of that. I did have to buy the gold and the light pink and the gray were from the living room and then the black was also from the salon. So it's already colors that I already had. I had this huge mirror and that little baby carrot from the salon. So I just wanted to bring everything together. It's just different shades of pink and it goes really well. I'm not quite done in here, but um, we are getting there. Um, the blinds are closed because it's bright as crap outside. But yeah, so this is my coffee cart. It's a cart I already had from my salon, already had the Keurig, already had the tray, already had most of this stuff. So she's a bit messy right now, but it works. This is also one of my favorite plants that I got. Is she not adorable? Um, that one's fake, but it's fine. Okay, so next up is the kitchen. Um, I'm not crazy about this cabinet color, but you know, in an apartment, it kind of just is what it is. Um, I have tons of space in here. I am doing some remodeling. I've already hung some things. I'm waiting for some pictures. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a brief video about that when I decide to do it. But the nice thing about this apartment is that I have a gas stove. So all the cooking stuff is gas. All the appliances are black. My kitchen is a hot mess right now. Um, but yeah, so this is where I spend most of my time doing all the cookings. Um, honestly, I don't hate it. When I moved in here, I did change these lights out. I actually changed out all the lights in the apartment because they were yellow. And I do not want yellow in my anything. Like my hair is yellow enough. So yeah. Um, there's really not much to say about the kitchen other than the fact that I am going to paint it and hang some pictures very soon. I got some spice racks from Ikea. I painted those black. They look nice. I also asked for, actually, spice jars for my birthday so that, you know, all of my spices would look really, really nice. Um on my spice rack. So yeah, this is the kitchen. What you're on right now is a breakfast nook, which you can see into the dining room um, from here, which let me show you. So this is the breakfast nook. Um, it just looks directly into the dining room. And then this is the entry into the dining room. And then that's the kitchen. I have a lot that I'm gonna do in here, but for now, this just is what it is. So these are the spice racks that I got from Ikea. Just painted them black, put them up. This whole, this wall, and this wall will be gray. This is an island that I already had, so I'm not too mad about the cabinet color because they pretty much match. And this all, I need to do something with this. This was a birthday present, so don't mind me. This is one of my favorite, favorite rooms in the house. Um, sorry I have to set you up towards, um, like this is the only way to do it. This bathroom is very small. So if you notice in the before video where I was complaining about something in here, and then this issue. Love that for me. Um, it still bothers me to this day, but I really like how I decorated this room or decorated it or whatever you want to call it. Um, so this <laughs> is so much more golden than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Um, it goes really, really well with my shower curtain. And then all of this is just wallpaper from... Target. I had to buy two things of it and it was actually on sale and it was a bitch to put up because my light fixture, that light fixture had to come down. Um, but that's okay. So also what's in here is my washer and dryer. Ta-da! So this actually is normally my laundry room, like where I hang all my stuff to dry and whatever. Sometimes I take a shower, actually most of the time I take a shower in here, even though I have one in my bedroom. Looks much better when the door is closed. I am waiting on a piece of art and a neon sign to go in here. There was a neon sign that I wanted that said, um, please don't do coke in the bathroom, but it was too expensive. So we're just going to go with a lightning bolt to match this shower curtain. Is she not so cute? She is from Amazon and we love her. So totally my vibe. If you know me, you know I love lightning bolts. Um, and then I might put the neon sign here. I'm not sure, or maybe over there. So yeah, this is what she looking like. She looks good. She looks real, real good. 
Next up is my bedroom. So this was the very first room that I decorated and during uh, shutdown, lockdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, I waited so long for Ikea to open. I cannot even tell you, I used my end table in the living room as an entertainment center for two months and it drove me nuts because I just wanted to get everything done. The only thing I had to wait for in here were this tall set of drawers. These are the Alex drawers, I think, um, and then my nightstands, which I ended up not even getting the nightstands that I wanted. I got the peasant version, but it's fine because they're so very cute. I bought two tapestries from Society6. I'll link it down below. Um, I used 3M Velcro strips to hang this, and it was actually my client's idea. So I might do like a brief tutorial of the tapestry that I have in the dining room and kind of try and show you guys how to hang it if you want to make it look like wallpaper. The pattern is off a little bit, but I love, like my bedroom is probably one of the rooms that I love the most how it's turned out. So let me show you. Is she not the cutest? Look at her. So this is just two tapestries, like I said, with the 3M Velcro strips. And I had a lot of the bedding already. This is actually Jasper's blanket. I got this weighted blanket for Christmas, so all I had to do was order a purple duvet cover, some navy blue silk pillowcases, and I already had teal sheets. These are pillow covers from Amazon. Girl, stop buying pillows every time you need new pillows. Just buy covers. It is so much cheaper, and you can take them off and wash them and blah, 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 blah. Um, the bed I already had. It also has a canopy that can go on it, but I'm actually really loving how it is now. So yeah, this is my cave that I sleep in. I did kind of take some video of me painting this room, which... I mean, it wasn't very much, and after that I realized kind of what I painted it in the ass it was to video and try and get all this done in a timely manner. It was a lot. So these are my nightstands and I just, I have my Amazon thing on here and this has some smelly good stuff in it. I am obsessed with these reed things, but how cute are these? These cages are from Ikea. The bracket itself is from Amazon and then the lights and the cord are from Amazon. The bulbs are from Target. You can't really see them on camera because of the backdrop but they are they're honestly so so cute um also these curtains are my freaking pride and joy i ordered one set thinking i could put one panel on each window um and i ended up getting another panel so these are 120 dollars curtains but they're so worth it the color is beautiful they're this like velvet felt finish i just really love the the whole vibe that those curtains give the room and they're blackout curtains so it gets pretty dark in here and then there's this guy so this is just a giant mirror from ikea and then these lights are from da -da -da -da. these lights are just from amazon they're like the vanity makeup lights and i don't know i don't love this i wish there was a way to like kind of pull it back but there's not but these lights are also changeable and dimmable. I really, I don't know, I kind of made, those impression mirrors are like thousands of dollars. And that mirror was $120 and then those lights were $20. So I said, why not make my own? So this vanity I already had, I looks, I have a lot of mirrors in my room, yes. Already had this one with that light set, so I just kind of kept up with it. I used the extra fabric from my tapestry to put this chair together. Honestly, I didn't reupholster it or anything. I just wrapped it and staple gunned it because that was the easiest thing to do. And now it matches. So that's what it looks like when the vanity is on. And then obviously that mirror has lights that are on. And then if you want to get real close up with your makeup. So I like a lot of light for makeup, you know, situations because... Honestly, it just makes you look so good. So, so good. I really also love these drawers. Random stuff. You know, all my makeup in there is just organized. Lipsticks. 
And then I used one of these rods from Ikea to just hang all my jewelry on behind the door. I have the shelf, no clue what I'm doing with it. Well, I'm not even gonna try and step in here because this is just, this is what the office is right now. Under there somewhere is my desk. This is where I hang all of my clothes to dry because I basically hang dry every, excuse me, everything. What I've gotten done the most of in here is probably this wall, although I don't have pictures for most of these frames yet. Um, so yeah, there's that. I did get them to replace these closet doors as well as the ones in the hallway. Um, this won't even open all the way right now. So luggage is in here, there's some backdrops, there's just random stuff, bathing suits. This is some, like, it is organized with like boxes of like photography stuff and just different stuff like gift bags. This is all my event clothes, like um, any kind of photo shoot clothes, anything like that, and shoes. So those are in there. I really want my mom to come help me organize because she's really good at this stuff. But for now, this is what we're working with. So there will be a video coming very soon on me getting this shit together. So now let's get down to the actual tea. So I am still, during the pandemic in April, um, the building that I rent my suite from, the company, whatever, they, I know, thank you. They said, um, you know, your lease is up. We need you to sign a new lease. And I'm like, girl, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to afford this place after all this. I don't know what clients are gonna look like. I don't know what anything's gonna look like. We're still in the middle of like, sh like lockdown of quarantine. So I asked for a six month lease and she offered me a three month lease. Thank you, thank you. You ready to get down now? Okay, say bye-bye. <laughs> um, so she offered me a three-month lease, and I was like, that puts us into July. I was like, who knows when we're ever going to get out of lockdown. So I said, I will sign it when, for dated for the date that we actually do open back up and go back to work. So she sent me the lease, and I never signed it. Um, but if it was dated for when she sent it, then that would mean that my lease is currently up. I am looking for another place, but renting in a suite is a lot different than having like a storefront retail type of thing. And if I had a retail space, I would have to continue to pay, um, pay rent if we get locked down again. And the nice thing about the plaza was they finally did come out and say, we're not going to charge you rent for the time that we are locked down. Now, during that time, the company that owns where I rent from, they filed bankruptcy and they had a couple of class action lawsuits against them because they weren't paying their employees at their other salons that were commission based. Um, they were ordered to pay $1.2 million in back wages, and then they filed bankruptcy. Another company bought them, but they kept a couple of the buildings and stuff that, um, like where I rent, unfortunately, they ended up keeping it. So then they tried to con us out of some money, and they basically said, you owe uh, X amount of dollars in the week that we shut down. We were only open three days in that during that week. And they tried to say, you owe a whole week's rent. And I was like, we were only open three days. That should be prorated. And they said, well, the week that we opened back up, we were open for two days. So that's five days. And I was like, I'm still not paying you for seven days when it was only five days. So it was just a whole, it's a big, big mess. Um, she ended up putting everybody back on the draft to have their rent like just drafted out um, without telling anybody. So it just started coming out. And of course my rent went up for the new lease and that's what they're charging me now. And they said, after this three month lease is up, you have to sign a one year, um, and we'll take the three months off of it. So it's been a whole big thing. I reached out to a couple of realtors, one realtor. I talked to her, I gave her my specifics. Um, I told her I did not want to leave the Virginia Beach area. I said I don't want to be near these bad neighborhoods, named the neighborhoods off. The first two addresses she sent me were the bad neighborhoods. Um, the other one was in Norfolk, and it takes her two to four weeks between responding to me. So I wasted two months of my time trying to find a space when one of my clients gave me her realtor's information. I reached out to her. She had three possibilities for me the same day. So I did go and look at those yesterday and I am currently trying to make a decision on that. No idea what's going to come of that. Um, but 
if you are new here and you don't know what's going on with any of that, you can go to my Instagram and you can, there's a highlight called the tea. It's got a little ghost on it. You can just read through all of that. That'll take you from beginning to basically my last video. Um, and that will probably catch you up to speed with the whole salon situation. So if that happens, there'll be lots of vlogs. Um, as you can see, I am not quite done here. I really have some work to do in my office, a couple of things for the bathroom and the kitchen. So those will definitely be vlogs. Um, I don't know what this channel is going to be. It's basically just going to be my life. If I travel, it's going to be here. If I decorate for Christmas, it's going to be here. If I do anything fun and crafty that I feel like is interesting and I want to share with you guys, it's going to be here. So my main channel is going to be hair, work, business, all that. This will be fun, play, it'll be whatever I want it to be. Makeup tips, whatever, because I also really love makeup. So thank you guys so much for coming on my apartment tour with me. If you liked this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Wow, Crystal. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications. When I do post a new video, I am going to try to be more consistent. Um, I am going to shoot for two days a week for vlogs and one, uh, one day a week for main channel videos. Um, wish me luck with that. And thank you guys again for coming. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.